Hey traders, Mark here. Today is Thursday. Happy Thursday. So gang, what I want to do tonight is I want to quickly run through the updated zones and just walk through the last couple days. So as a quick review, I'm using the trend direction down here for my, well, trend direction. <laughs> so if I have both of these are red, then I'm just taking trades out of my bearish zones and what I'm doing is I'm waiting for my oscillator to be oversold and I take the trade after a down red bar and one tick below the down red bar or one of my four um, entry bars that I like. If I have one green and one red then I require either regular divergence or retracement divergence which I covered that in the video uh, on Tuesday. If I have both red, there's no trade. And the only other trade that I take is if I have a zone in the zone like this, and I have at least one of these in that direction. So in this case, I need at least one green trend. Then I enter it once my oscillators over are in the extreme, whichever direction. All right, let's get started. So we start the day here with two losses and then you don't have a trade here because of the way the bar is set up. Here's my down red bar then I get a higher close followed by another down red bar and then by the time it triggers the zone is gone. Okay then I have a trade right there plus 380. Now I need a reset which I get right here and guys look at how well the price trades off of these zones especially these fresh ones now one thing to keep in mind is after you've had an extended move like after your second zone so one two you you can expect a decent retracement okay and that happens right okay so my next trade unfortunately this would have been a great one as well but it never triggered. So again, this is my second zone. So on the third zone, because my first two zones did not allow me to trade, I don't trade the third zone. Now, one thing that I need to figure out is after this third zone, what do I want to see? Do I want to see an opposite colored zone? Right now, I'm just taking the trades and you can see what happens here, right? I end up with three losses. This one gets close to a winner but doesn't quite make it. And you can see if I had waited for that red zone, I would have saved myself even a fourth loss. Right there. And a fifth. Okay. And that's the end of the day. So let's go into today. And I, I want to continue watching after that third zone, right? I want to see what happens. You can see back here. Here's my first zone really nice trade overnight here's my second zone again beautiful movement off of the first two zones and then look what happens loss loss and then look guys I get a fresh blue zone and then we come back into the red and it's a winner now could just be happenstance, right? I have no idea, but it's something to observe. Okay, I got a handful of losses here. And here, this is this is an extended move, but that's the first red zone I had. Got a handful of losses throughout here. You guys can see that, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in a row, right? And then here is a zone in the zone trade, plus 360. And then back into this zone again. Got my divergence here. For another plus 360. 
and got a handful of losses there. So again, there's eight in a row, nine, another 10 in a row. It's almost like it comes in waves of 10, huh? And that's it. So when you look at this last bit of action here, guys, we had, what, 20 losses and one, two wins. I mean, that's tough, but here's what you need to understand. Guys, I'm risking one unit to make eight units. So when you go back and look at the, the total for the last two days, it's $590 a contract. Sure as hell didn't seem like it, did it? Felt like there was a lot of losses, but guys, this is the power of risk. When you focus on your risk and you let the outcomes play out, this is what can happen in your trading. So I'll, uh, I'll continue showing days kind of just randomly throughout the week because these don't take a whole lot of time to run through. And, you know, these last couple days, you know, if we look at, let me pull up a chart here. If we look at a chart, guys, here's a 15-minute chart. Now, the market didn't open until right here. So you had one move, and then look at this. This is the rest of your day. This was from 11 o'clock till close. And then the day before that, here was your open. One move, V bottom, and then this was your action, right? These last two days, and still remain positive on the system. So that's a positive thing. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> no, just kidding. All right, guys. Um, we'll see, no, no real updates. Um, finalizing some, just some bugs in code. I mean, it seems like it's all I do anymore. But it is, uh, it's coming together. I've got, I've got. A, I just sent one out to someone for testing, and then I'm going to connect with this person over the weekend to see how the testing is coming and making sure that everything's working properly. And then uh, the Forex stuff, gang, I'll do a video over the weekend just showing some of the Forex. There's been a, a lot of trades, and it's looking, uh, it's con it continues to look good. And again, the Forex is a great example of proper risk management. All right, gang, I will catch you later this week.